all right april 28 2022 a real quick video today i said i was going to do a little bit on stock market and portfolio change a slight change i did and i'll tell you why i did it you guys let me know what you think but i just want to go over a few things that happened today which is kind of like i call it uh, not wacky wednesday call it wacky thursday i had uh, on a dashboard it, I looked at says uh, fuel range it was 77 miles until you know empty I, I'm on Bluetooth so it showed my battery was at 77 percent for the battery life and then on top of that I saw in the corner oil life because I travel a lot and I don't want to you know get low on oil too much so I want to see that it said 77 percent for my oil life so all sevens across the board literally and on top of that i was born in 1977. then i look over to the main dashboard in the car because i figured you know what temperature might be 77 degrees and guess what no it wasn't it was 76 it was pretty close that would have really freaked me out but enough that i had to mention it in this video this weird day today continues I decide to have some chicken, right? I didn't want to have any more sandwiches or whatever on the road. I said, I want to have some, at least some mashed potatoes and uh, maybe mac and cheese, whatever, get some nasty KFC. So I walk in and I order like a two piece with um, whatever, mashed potatoes, like I said, um, nothing major. And I'm sitting and I'm looking around and most people had like eight piece meal like wow I mean I'm 220 pounds I'm 6'2 I can eat and I was pretty much full with those two big pieces of chicken with mashed potatoes and and I did have um, of course that biscuit with butter I mean I, I, I thought I did it all <laughs> and then I look around I said wow this is only in America right and then to continue with this weird day I look right next to me on the window it says download kfc app if you spend 12 dollars or more you get this free chicken sandwich and this chicken sandwich look good i mean there is like juice dripping down from this thick piece of chicken and pickles inside i mean it looks good just imagine how many people could not wait to download this app to spend $15 to get eight piece meal even though they can probably handle five pieces at the most and they're just gonna shove their face in for the last three pieces they won't even take it to go they're just gonna eat all of it spend instead of like I say like I said eight dollars they'll spend 15 or 16 to get this free sandwich the point is with digital dollar coming with this new monetary system that's being put in, in place as we speak all they need to say is if you download this federal reserve app or if you chip your wrist or whatever i don't want to go too deep into conspiracy theories you will get free 20 dollars imagine the line of people waiting and shaking how quickly they can chip themselves or download this app like i said in order to get this 20 bucks and imagine all that chicken or burgers you can buy for 20 bucks not as much nowadays that it used to be like a year ago a year and a half ago but nonetheless you can definitely stuff yourself stuff your face in in 20 bucks worth of fast food so i notice a lot of these things when i go out it's it's almost impossible not to notice it and for me it's easy i played a lot of live poker against major hustlers all over las vegas even in the back rooms uh in in the middle of nowhere in the desert and uh i was kind of um trained in a way to notice a lot what's going on and and for me this is easy to notice but i think a lot of people are noticing zombies everywhere and a lot of sheeple that continue just to follow all these uh, narratives signs uh, they don't do any research uh, they're living unhealthy it's it's very sad but it's happening it is um, so easy for these oligarchs to do what they have been doing like for instance today to continue with this wacky thursday president biden decided to send 33 
billion dollars be for a boy? Billion dollars, 33 billion, okay? We went from 800 million twice to now one round of 33 billion. Next time you'll be 330 billion. Then we're gonna be looking at 1.3 trillion. You can see where this is going. And who is paying for this? The working class. They are imploding the dollar right before your eyes and you will continue to get fleeced with headlines. Strong dollar, strong dollar, strong dollar. Yes, the dollar is stronger when you look at DXY, the dollar, the index. If you are trading Dixie or if you are living in places like, let's say, Europe and you are holding US dollars, your purchasing power goes long way over there versus people holding euros in Europe. But people that live in United States, like most likely me and you, they're getting decimated. The standard of living is getting worse every single day because of currency printing to infinity and beyond. And that's what they're doing and they're not stopping. There is no tightening. There is no shrinkage of the balance sheet. They're lying, just like they're lying about inflation was transitory. Now they're going to say food shortages are transitory. Depression is transitory. It's just temporary, okay? How about no? How about a lot of this stuff is permanent? And I believe, unfortunately, we haven't seen anything in inflation because we will see more of madness like this while we have Americans struggling and our politicians are sending taxpayers money across i mean they're they're sending it abroad like it's no big deal everybody's getting a piece of a pie while we got 10 cities all over the country here we've got veterans out in the streets basically homeless but no let's send 33 billion dollars with no end in sight in this war that as you guys know if we got no crisis they can't really usher in this new monetary system because who is going to be going for that why would you but if everything is falling apart then a lot of people will accept the new system because it's for your own safety it's better for you this is new change it's going to be better Yes, you're going to have your kids have lemonade stand and they can't even get one dollar or probably nowadays it's five bucks for, for a lemonade. It's going to be all done digitally and it will be all recorded. So this enslavement of society will continue because of the sheeple who can't think for themselves and they are putting everyone in, in, in harm's way in so many ways because they can't get together. They are so focused on left, right, Republican, Democrat bullshit, and they don't understand unless people get together, regardless of their political views, color of their skin, show up peacefully, like I said, tens of millions of people on Capitol Hill and ask, not even demand, nicely to explain why is it if we can print currency to infinity that's not causing inflation like those in current administration and other people too. Trump said the same thing essentially. Obama, they all print nonstop because they want this phony economy to continue looking good because when Fed Reserve prints all this money, they buy up bonds, they buy up stocks, they buy real estate and it's artificially propped up so people have a false uh, sense in a way that the economy is booming okay so i don't think they will slow down with quantitative easing meaning counterfeiting of currency stealing your purchasing power decimating your standard of living they will not stop and they will use every single crisis they can in order to do this so yeah, I mean, this video went again a little longer than I wanted to, but I wanted to just touch up on this. And, and I really hope you guys share videos like this. You make your own, make some comments, make your voices heard. And uh, hopefully these people 
Republican, Democrat, whatever freaks in office will slow down with what they're doing before everyone is on their knees begging to get chipped in a way to get that free, you know, free chicken sandwich. Position change to finish the video off. I decided to exit Barrick Gold completely. It was my second largest position behind Rio. It used to be number one, then I changed it with, exchanged it with Rio, Rio Tinto because of the dividends and the reason I exited it because it was still up 15% I was up 30% in the last few days as gold um, is and has been selling off it dropped 15% while my Rio took a big hit it went from like 10% plus it was in the green to be 6% in the red so I decided to use those funds to dollar cost average Rio and sometimes you can do stuff like this. This is not investing advice. I'm just telling you what are possible ways, if you believe in a certain stock, in a certain sector, what can you do to offset some of these swings? And I will get back in very cold, but I just think there is a better opportunity for me for the next few months, few years even, to hold it in Rio and um, get better dividends on that and then use a different entrance in Barrick Gold, which is still my favorite gold miner. So that's the position right now, number one, uh, heavily weighted in Rio, Sibania Stillwater is at number two, SBSW, and I am looking to get back in Barrick Gold to put it at number two, possibly number one at some point, and I will keep you posted when. I will post all these stock tickers in the description box down below and again do your own due diligence these markets are insane that's why I always say make sure you got your real things in your possession first whatever you prefer whether it's soft commodities hard commodities basically tangibles versus intangibles which is stocks digits on the screen paper I believe tangibles will win big time in this decade but that doesn't mean there is no room to speculate or to invest for long term in sectors and I believe commodities have a long way to go I could be wrong uh, I won't lose my sleep overnight if I'm wrong in the stock market at all because I am investing currency that I was able to profit from picking right sectors at the right time, exiting, buying real things with, uh, with and then re-injecting those profits back into uh, different areas of the stock market. So hopefully this, uh, this video, <laughs> here's my English again, helped you out. Let me know, like it, share it, make some comments. I'm out.